Namaste. How's it going? Today's topic is interesting, and this comes from my personal practice. I've realized you know, that the inner body is made up of many gears. As one part of us turns one way, other parts turn the other way, and they alternate. Yeah. And I use this technique in the practice of asana, mudras, and even pranayama. And that's how I feel the energy inside. It's not linear. It's not perfectly symmetrical. As we work through our techniques, yeah, the energy coils in and out of the many pockets and spaces and joints and the lines inside the body. And the main gear controlling all these internal mechanisms is the tongue. Yeah, so for today, I will be sharing with you a simple asana-based practice. Yeah, uh, which can help you alleviate yeah, the tension of your low back and hips, aside from understanding the essence of our lesson. So we start lying on our backs. Yeah. Yeah. But you can also do this like your way of warming. Yeah. <laughs> okay, knees are together, and then just circle them around. All right, and here, start to rub the tongue already around the mouth, tracing the gaps between your lips, and the teeth and the gums. All right. If you are circling towards that clockwise direction, move your tongue to the clockwise direction too. Right. And then you will feel as you move the tongue from the cheek and around the other side. Yeah, you can gain access to the back of the hips, the sacrum, and also the shoulders. Yeah, from the collarbones. Feel that? <laughs> Feels good, right? And reverse, circle the other way, and rub the tongue again <laughs> to that direction of the circle. Yeah. If you rub the tongue opposite, for example, you're coiling to the clockwise and your tongue moves to the counterclockwise, try that. Yes, you can gain access to the midline, yeah? So if you're moving the tongue to the same direction as your motion, yeah, you gain access to the peripheries. But if you move the tongue yeah, opposite and the motion, you gain access of the midline. Yeah, interesting, right? <laughs> and reverse. But if I do this, I don't think too much. I just feel it, yeah? You can lift the head. Okay, and then from there, let the arms open, and then just relax the jaw. <sighs> yeah, like a little recovery as your legs fall. You can let the tension exit through the mouth. And you can allow the tongue to move side to side inside the mouth. Okay, now next, yeah? Opposite arm lifts over the head and the spare hand grabs hold of the foot. And then from there, move the tongue, yeah, the same yeah, pattern as your body. And then you can rub in and out of the hips and the shoulders. Feel that? Like you can yeah, gain access inside. And then here, yeah, the rib cage and even yeah, the back of the shoulder blades. Like the tongue <laughs> have its way of like irrigating those deep channels. And, and then do the opposite side. Yeah. Um, lips and then the spare hand grabs hold of the foot. And rub the tongue around. Yeah. The cheek. Yeah. The top of the your lips behind the lips and against the gums and the bottom. Okay, now, and then side to side again. Yeah. Feel that? <laughs> okay, now, you're shifting to this side, yeah, so you can face the camera, and then the opposite hand grabs hold of the inner leg. Okay, now, what we're going to do with this leg, we're going to move it in a circular motion towards the knee mm -hmm. and away from the knee. And at the same time, your hand yeah, will... yeah turn and then adjust your inner thigh bones away from yeah, <laughs> the inner hip. Yeah, like your, as your knee moves to that direction, your inner thigh moves to the opposite direction. Right. And then what you do with the tongue, 
uh, you rub it from the bottom and around the top side. And you can also reverse from the cheek. Yeah. As the leg coils out, yeah, the muscles of the inner thighs move away from the groin and the tongue goes into the midline. And that, <laughs> you can gain access here in the shoulder and in the back of uh, the collarbone. You can also apply the Plavini Pranayama. Breathing to the side. And circle the tongue around. Feels good, this one. Hmm? Good. And you can sway the leg a bit of a side to side. And reverse. Yeah? Let me place this way so you can see. Yeah. Opposite hand yeah, towards the knee. And then you may move your hand yeah, to rub the muscles and the fleshy part of the leg away from the groin region. And at the same time, moving this arm long behind you. And rub the tongue. Yeah, inside the mouth. Uh, my theory is that uh, our bodies are made up of like compartments, circles. And as you move around the joints and together with the tongue, it brushes through the linings of those circles. And yeah, moving, it. you can open and then come back. Yeah. Lavini. Feel that? <laughs> like you can really get access inside the buttock. Yeah, where the the flat bones of the hips are attached to the muscles. Like you can separate the muscles from the bones <laughs> and even the joints from the bones. Good, and do the side to side again. All right, so keeping this motion, now what we're gonna do, uh, this knee, will, or the leg will swing up and then grab hold of the foot and the opposite hand over the head and rub the tongue around with that direction. Good, can you feel that here? Yeah, good. And the opposite side. Rubbing in, you're gonna feel it here, here, and across that um, inside that shoulder. Uh, I can hold that stretch longer, and you can do this like a swaying motion. Breathing in, exhale out. You may also do the plavini. You can turn the head too. Uh, yeah, and just keep doing that. And you're going to feel like this part of you is open, like your inner body becomes hollow and empty. Yeah, and moving around in circles again. And to finish, you can cross the arms behind the head. And then do this. Keep rubbing around. And you can rub one side a few times before you change. All right, and then just crossing up and down. And rocking up and down. Okay, and then sit. Good. So the principle is like the body is made up of different compartments and they're like the shape of the spear. Yeah. And as you work through yeah, the linings, you rub against yeah, yeah, the surface or the internal linings of those invisible yeah, spherical shape. And that's how I feel it. Yeah. From the hips, there's one. And around the core, there's another one. In the chest, there's another one here. And then here, there's another one. And also yeah, the cranial cavity. Yeah, he have one and one at the uh, the top of the brain, and I think there's more. Yeah, but those are the main compartments, and inside, yeah, they house the important 
you know, vital organs of the reproduction, of the abdomen, of the respiratory and circulatory, the throat, inside, um, the eyes, and of course, the brain. And then they are all encased in this circular, you know, spherical shape. Yeah, and then you know, when the breath is flowing through those points, you can barely feel those anatomical structure, like they dissolve. And then you can you know, flow that breath and the energy through you know, the inner linings, which are commonly blocked or closed. And the tongue you know, being the director, you know, being the main gear which controls everything inside, makes that possible. All right, so the tongue you know, becomes involved in the latter part of the practice of meditation. And it's one bandha that does everything. It's one mudra that accomplishes everything. It's one technique that does it all. I'll see you in the next one. And yeah, enjoy your practice. That's it.